Hi everyone, this is Kristen with The Tech Reviewer, and today I'm back with another look at Rhino Shield's brand new jelly tint cases for the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max, this time checking out their print versions. So last time we looked at the plain jelly tint cases, beautiful cases, 11 feet of drop protection, swappable buttons and camera rims, MagSafe optional but available, slim profile, food grade plastic, which is BPA free, and these are made from a special non-yellowing, non-fading material. So really nice cases there, but they're also available in print versions. So you've got collaborations with famous brands to choose from. You've also got various artists and some in-house Rhino Shield designs. And you can also upload your own photos, customize it with text, and add stickers from Rhino Shield's large sticker collection. So lots of really cool options with these cases. Today we're going to be checking these out in greater detail on my iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max. Let's get started. So when you first take your Rhino Shield case out of the box, you might be a little bit surprised to see that there aren't any buttons attached to it. You need to install them yourself. They come in a little white envelope and they are super easy to put on. So let's get these put on here so you can check it out. Again, you have the option to go with a different color button if you want. They're available for 99 cents per button color, so it's not a very expensive add-on to the case. And these are quite easy to put on. You just start from the interior and push out. It's really nice that Rhino Shield has a proper action button, unlike some cases for the 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max. And as you can see, super easy to put on. You can also switch out your camera rim color, but the camera rim, unlike the buttons, does come pre-installed. And of course, do keep in mind that if pink is not your favorite color, you have a total of four colors of the jelly tint to choose from. In addition to fancy pink, we also have moody green, ash black, and cyber blue. The construction of the jelly tint cases is quite rigid, very little flex to it. So this material is called Shock Spread Lux. It's what gives you that 11 feet of drop protection. This material is guaranteed to be non-yellowing and it's also guaranteed not to fade. So you're gonna be able to keep these vibrant colors. So you don't have a whole lot of grip with these cases, but they are not as slippery as many glossy clear cases and they are beautifully transparent. You don't have any dots or anything like that to obscure your view. Really nice cases here. Probably the only real downside of them is that they are really hard to remove from your phone. So putting your phone in the jelly tint is a whole lot easier than getting it out. You're gonna to wanna to start on your left hand side. Make sure that both your top and your bottom corners are in place. Then go over to the right and push on your right hand corners. It's tight, but not bad. Once on, you're going to really appreciate the fact that you've got that nice tight fit because there is no give anywhere. So for those of you that love a tight fitting case, the jelly tint is going to be right up your alley. Really, really nice. So in terms of lip, you've got a good amount of lip, even with a tempered glass screen protector installed. This is one by Flow Lab. It's their 3D one-time pro screen protector. Very nice fit with this case. Everything looks great here. Looking down at our port openings, you've got symmetrical port openings for the asymmetrical port design, which is not optimal. Ideally, these should be asymmetrical. But other than that, I think everything looks good here. You shouldn't have any issue with third-party USB-C cables. Going up the sides, so again, not much grip, but really not that slippery either. For a glossy clear case, I find this to be mildly to moderately grippy. But again, that doesn't mean it's really grippy. It's not grippy like rubber. It's not grippy like it's textured or anything like that. It's just not as slippery as you'd expect. Going up here to the buttons, the buttons are excellent, very nice and clicky. You have a very small amount of button shake, Personally, this doesn't bother me. I've had some viewers say that they don't like the fact that the buttons move around just a little bit. 
I think the fact that the buttons are so nice and clicky is just wonderful, but there is a very small amount of movement with the buttons. So if that bothers you, you might want to be aware of that. The action button is a pleasure, just like the rest of the buttons. Everything works just great there. So looking at the view from the top, everything is looking great. Really nice fit on the phone. All excellent. Side button again, nice and clicky. Everything works really well. Got a very small amount of Rhino Shield branding down here at the bottom. You have to hold it in the light just to see it. So really not very obtrusive. And then going to the back, this is one of the many prints that are available. So this is one of the standard prints. It is something that Rhino Shield developed in-house, as far as I understand it. Looks great, and it's going to cost you an additional $3 on top of this MagSafe case. So the standard prints cost between $3 and $4 more, depending on whether you are putting it on a MagSafe version or a non-MagSafe version. So this added another $3 on because we have the MagSafe version of the Jelly Tent. Really cute print. If you go with one of the premium ones, those are gonna add $7 onto the cost of the case. So really nice slim look here, pleasant look and feel. You've got a nice amount of protection here for your rear camera, definitely have lay on the table design protection. And as far as scratching and fingerprints are concerned, these cases are going to scratch because this material is prone to scratching and they will show fingerprints. But in my experience, the ones that have prints on them are much less likely to show scratches or fingerprints. And as far as scratching is concerned, you're going to be helped very slightly against scratching because we have a little tiny ridge here at the very bottom of the case and that's going to work together with your raised camera rim to keep the majority of the back of the case very very slightly raised above a flat surface so when you put it flat on its back it's going to have less scratching over time. So as far as your MagSafe compatibility is concerned, everything works great. The magnets in here are two times stronger than Apple's standard MagSafe magnets, although they are not MagSafe certified. So checking this out with Apple's MagSafe charger, everything works great. You've got nice strong magnets on here, really, really nice and tight. You're gonna have excellent results with Apple's MagSafe wallet. So nice slim profile, tight fit, everything's great there. And then of course, Rhino Shield has its own MagSafe accessories, such as the Grip O. This one's fun, a recent addition to the Rhino Shield lineup. So you can flip this part down and then it works really well as a portrait stand. And you've also got the landscape stand as well. And then when you flip it up, you can use this as a grip. So that's fun. Overall, just a really nice case here from Rhino Shield. However, as I mentioned in my previous Jelly Tent review, getting this case off is not easy. It's probably the biggest downside of the Jelly Tent line. So you're going to need to start in your top right-hand corner, push that one off just a little bit, then go to your top left-hand corner, push that one off, and then just kind of go back and forth a little bit at a time, and eventually it will come off. But it is really tight and takes quite a bit of patience. So this is a lovely case, but it's not a good choice for the frequent case changer. Checking out the Jelly Tent in the beautiful cyber blue color. So before we put this on the 15 Pro, I'm going to show you how to change out the camera rim. So we already talked about changing out the buttons. So in order to put new buttons in, you push them from the inside out. In order to remove the button, you push it from the outside in. So that removes and then that reinstalls. It's basically the same idea with the camera rim. Slightly more difficult, but not bad. So with your phone, out of the case, you push the camera rim inside, and then to replace it, we're going to go with the black one here. You want to move to the inside here and take a careful look at your camera ring. So look here, you got this little dot up here in this corner, so that one's going to point in the top left-hand corner. And then you want to move, I always think it's best to work from the right. So I press in my right hand top and bottom corners there, 
and then go over to your left hand side and then press in those corners and then just keep on going around the edges till everything is snapped into place and then you have a new camera ring color so checking the cyber blue out on my phone again this is not that difficult to get on left side first and then clip on those right hand corners so great fit on the phone excellent look just a beautiful color here with the blue nice amount of protective lip excellent buttons everything looks just beautiful here and then looking at the back so this translucent material does a wonderful job showing off the beauty of your iPhone. Given that this is a plain version, you can actually see the translucent color a whole lot better. And you can see we don't have any dots on here. There's no watermarking. This just looks absolutely lovely on the phone. So scratching and fingerprints are gonna be an issue with this type of material. And I think that it's going to be a little bit more obvious when you have a plain version as opposed to a print version. But still, you still have that same small ridge that I showed you when we were looking at the pink version at the very bottom of the phone case. And that combined with the camera rim is going to help reduce everyday scratching when this is placed on its back. Not eliminate it, but reduce it. Overall, just a really lovely case. And again, this is the MagSafe version. So this is gonna work great with MagSafe accessories. But if you wanna save a little bit of money, you can get this in a non-MagSafe version as well. Moving on to the iPhone 15 Pro Max size of the Jelly Tent cases here in the lovely ash black color. This is a print from NASA's Cosmos collection. So this one is the Launch Vehicle Ground Track or something like that. Really cool looking print. So this is one of the non-MagSafe versions. So you have the option to get all of these cases either in MagSafe or non-MagSafe versions. And you can save a little money if you go with the non-MagSafe versions. So if you're not into MagSafe, you don't have to pay for it. So that's nice. Other than that, we're looking at basically the same case we've been looking at all along. So rigid case, very little flex, swappable buttons and camera rims. The option to go with MagSafe or non-MagSafe, 11 feet of drop protection. The material is something called Shock Spread Lux. Not a lot of grip to it, but not quite as slippery as some glossy clear cases. This material is not going to turn yellow and it's not going to fade and you don't have any irritating little dots. There's no watermarking. You just have a really clear result. This material is really quite lovely. So interestingly, the 15 Pro Max versions of the Jelly Tint fit very slightly looser than the 15 Pro and as a result, they're easier to get on and off. So getting on is not such a worry, obviously, but getting them off can be troublesome. So that's particularly nice if you're looking at the larger version. So getting this on goes on a bit easier, but you still have a nice tight fit once it's on. No give anywhere. As far as the amount of lip is concerned, it's gonna be the same as on the 15 Pro, but I don't have a tempered glass screen protector on this or any screen protector. So you can see you have a higher visible lip on here. Here everything looks lovely. Looking down here at our port openings, symmetrical port openings for the asymmetrical port design, but besides that, no real issues. And you're gonna have plenty of space for third-party USB-C cables. And everything looks good going up the sides. You can see the foam color really nicely through this translucent ash black. And we've got black buttons on here, nice and clicky. Everything works well. You do have the option of switching them out for another color if you want to. Great view here from the top. Very nice fit on here. And a nice responsive side button. 
Looking at the back, I think the print design looks really fantastic here on the phone. Looks really great here with the natural titanium and the ash black combo. So this is one of many prints that are available with the NASA print collection. So these premium prints are going to cost you $7 extra as opposed to the standard prints, which are between $3 and $4 extra, depending on the type of case you have. And there are lots of other options to choose from. It's not just going to be NASA. You have various other brands. You have things from various artists. A lot of really cool stuff. So you got plenty of protection here for your rear camera. Again, there is the option to switch out that camera ring for a different color if you want to, 99 cents per camera ring color. And this particular version of the case is not MagSafe, although you can add a little bit to the price of the case and go with a MagSafe version. But of course, this one is gonna work fine with regular Qi wireless charging, no problems there. And again, it's definitely easier to remove the jelly tip from the 15 Pro Max than the iPhone 15 Pro. You're gonna do the same thing where you take a little bit off on each side and then you pop out your phone. So it's the same method, but you just have a little bit looser fit so it's easier to take off. So I think we got some really great cases here from Rhino Shield with the jelly tent lineup. I'm loving the colors. You got your fancy pink, cyber blue, ash black, and moody green. So these are gonna look really great on your phone. You're not gonna have any yellowing or fading, and you don't have any watermarking or little dots or anything like that to take away from the beauty of your phone. So that is all fantastic. You can go with MagSafe or non-MagSafe versions. You can go with print versions or plain versions versions and you even have the option to go with their design your own studio where you can upload your own photos and you can add text and stickers and whatever so you can have really infinite customization with the jelly tent line so i think that the only real major downside of these cases is that they are so hard to remove but again this is going to be more of a problem with 15 pro and less of an issue with the 15 pro max so overall really great cases from rhino shield definitely something to consider if you're looking for a protective case for your new iPhone 15 Pro or 15 Pro Max. The Rhino Shield Jelly Tent cases are available directly from Rhino Shield's website and they come in four colors, Fancy Pink, Cyber Blue, Moody Green, and Ash Black. The MagSafe version is going to run you $46.99 and the non-MagSafe version is going to be $37.99. And again, you can have any of these cases in either MagSafe versions or non-MagSafe versions. If you want to go with prints for your cases, your standard prints are going to be $3 to $4 additional and your premium collaboration prints, like the one that we saw from the NASA Cosmos collection, is going to be $7 additional. If you decide to go with the design your own cases that I was talking about, where you can upload your own photos and text and then add additional stickers or backgrounds, then those are going to start at $41.99 for the standard jelly tent cases and $49.99 for the MagSafe compatible jelly tent cases. And then the prices may go up from there depending upon what you select. And then finally, if you want to bundle additional camera rings or button colors with your phone case order, then those are going to be 99 cents per camera ring or set of four buttons. And you can save 10% on your Rhino Shield purchase, assuming it goes over the $50 minimum purchase threshold. If you use the affiliate coupon code, the tech reviewer 88 so don't miss out on that if you're interested in making a rhino shield purchase many thanks to the kind folks at rhino shield for sending me out these samples to review if you have any questions about this or anything else please feel free to put them in the comment section below and i'll do my best to answer them and do consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos again this is kristen with the tech reviewer thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day